Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy Invective back out again with another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to go over the timeline events and what you can expect next on Global Dokkan Battle. What are the next banners going to be? What should you summon on? And what are you interested in? And also the 350 million download celebration around what time is it going to be? And when are we going to expect the next banner for Dokkan? What's going to come next? So for anyone that's interested, this is this video is basically going to cover all of that so let's get straight into the topic all right so this is exactly where we're at at the moment right we've just got the release of the lr banner the top legendary summon for broly um chi lion lemo as well as the goku black rose uh of which i've done summons check out the links in the description below uh, all i'm gonna say is you you see those summons you get to see exactly how badly i've been shafted on these banners 1200 1, stones deep without either of these guys completely nuts but let's see what's going to be coming up next uh so this is a timeline events for japan so this uh some things are out of time or out of sync between global and jp some things we do faster than them some things we do before them so you know uh, take all of this with a grain of salt not even a grain of salt this is like insight into what will be coming up next so obviously we're going to get this easier and everything we've already got all the bear stuff we already got the awakenings and the world tournaments uh we are expecting demon king piccolo next on the next world tournament which will probably be around uh, august time uh we've already had the bardock stuff and uh yeah we've had all of that stuff already we've had the uh blue kai can goku ages ago uh jp got it recently we got it in december christmas time same with the boma stuff we've already had that ultimate clash We've got LR Krillin. So all of this stuff we've already got until here. So this is the next actual um, Dokkan Festival that's going to be come, coming to uh, Global. So it's going to be basically the Dokkan Festival between uh, Gotenks and Super Buu or Margin Buu Good that turns into Super Buu basically. So uh, let's go ahead and have a look at this. So here's the Dokkan Festival here. So that's the Gotenks banner. And then they've got a boo banner so this is a super super class versus extreme class sort of banner so this is what's on the banner itself so check out the units a lot of these characters we've already had in the game it will be the first return for the goku and the vegeta um so the goku the goku is going to be over here in the super banner the vegeta will be in the extreme banner um for me this is a complete skip because i've already got all of these guys here right They'd have to drastically change this banner for me to summon on it. They'd have to put Int Future Gohan on here. And they'd have to change it around somehow. Or just put put some other unit on here besides this Trunks. I could use the Piccolo and besides the Gogeta. They'd have to change these two units because we're just coming out of the 5th anniversary. And we've had these guys featured. So we would they'd probably have to change these two units here. Uh, for it to be relevant for us to even summon on this banner. So that's the actual banner itself. Here's the unit, the Gotenks. Uh, he has a bunch of transformations and stuff. So there's the Gotenks. He greatly raises defense for one turn. He's the leader of special pose and youth. Um, I don't want to go too in depth on the units, but that's what you can expect, the Gotenks. So then, um, yeah, and then also you've got the extreme class with the super boo and everything. So let me show you guys those units. So this is the boo banner as, as well. Now, uh, as I was saying, uh, we've already had all of these units within the fifth anniversary. So they'd have to drastically change these banners for us to even want to summon on them. Uh, we've already had Super Boo, Merge Masu, Broly. We've had all of these guys already on the Gogeta banner and the Vegito banner. So they'd have to change everything here. Uh, they'd have to change these three units up. I could use another Metal Cooler. I can use the Vegeta. Vegeta is a super type here, but um, it turns into an extreme type. Uh, I think they kind of, uh, they kind of, this this is the wonkiest unit in my personal opinion in the entire game. Um, that's the Margin Vegeta. They should have just made him a uh, base form Vegeta that turns into Margin Vegeta an extreme class throughout the entire time because he did not ever go Super Saiyan 2. Um, nor did he ever state that he was in Super Saiyan 2 throughout the entire fight before he went into Majin Vegeta mode. Even though he had Super Saiyan 2, 
but he didn't state that he had it so it, it's just very wonky very weird so they'd have to change that around quite a bit and then uh, here's the boo unit itself he has multiple transformation and transforms into super boo he's leader for margin power and artificial life forms excellent leader skill so yeah that's that event there so those are all the units within this pledge which i'm probably expecting next for global dokkan if not next it might be after the the celebration which we're thinking about uh, but the reason why i'm thinking next is because dubora and babadi now these two units are meant to be coming next on global for dokkan battlefield and dokkan battlefield is going to reset uh, on monday so are we expecting these guys are we expecting the start of the Gotenks and Boo celebration? Well, we'll find out next. We'll find out very soon because these units are the only. Uh, this is the only unit missing from Dokkan Battlefield at the moment, which we should have. So you know, it makes sense, and especially if they want to move in towards the 350 million download celebration, I'm expecting there's going to be uh, uh, banners that are going to come out, and then the 350 million download celebration. And then more banners after that as well but what i'm expecting the most is for them to switch things up so this is what they brought to jp but it wouldn't make sense to bring go tinks and boo instead it make better sense if instead they bring so there will be war tournament soon but instead if they bring kefla next it would make the most sense so if they brought kefla and then the kefla celebration and then the 350 million download celebration including i'm pro i'm thinking most likely boo saga stuff so super vgo um ultimate boo you know boo uh boohan uh ultimate gohan margin boo that's what i'm expecting to come for the 350 million download celebration because all roads kind of lead towards that sort of assumption meanwhile um yeah i think it'd be perfect if they brought these guys out first uh the kepler the wee stabados all all of this stuff and the awakenings for the universe six stuff so it makes sense if this stuff came next to global that would make the most sense so and then they'll probably include the uh, margin boo bubbly and whatnot in that dokkan ultimate clash to prepare us for what's going to come next because uh bubbly and deborah did come out straight it, it makes sense because margin vegeta super saiyan 3 goku babadi deborah the entire saga happened together and then much later on super boo fought with um margin boo and kind of turned into the evil super boo and then um we had the whole gold tinks thing so it makes sense if they brought the um ultimate clash lr first and then later on brought the actual banner so let's check out kefla itself uh kefla is a very interesting little uh Character. So this is gonna be her actual summon. Whoa, let's stop Invective right there. It's time for a quick little promotion. Yes, yes, come on, we're getting promoted out here. There's a special link down in the description below. I'm just gonna let you guys know. You wanna get yourself something sweet? Check out what you see on the screen over here. You see them amazing looking hoodies, especially that one over there. I like this one here, yeah. You see that Super Saiyan God Goku, Super Saiyan Blue, and then Ultra Instinct. Come on, let's go. They got that in the store, as well as that Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta and Goku. They even got some merch from the actual Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. They got the themed hoodies, shirts, tank top vests, all that great stuff. Not just Dragon Ball Z, my guy. Not just Dragon Ball. They got all sorts of anime related stuff. What's your favorite anime? Huh? It might be My Hero Academia. Mm. It might be, I don't know, it might be ReZero, eh? It might be Naruto, yeah? Come on. They got the hoodies and everything. Loads of great stuff, loads of great apparel. You want to get yourself some nice swag? Check it out. Link in the description below. Support me. Grab yourself something nice. And let's continue with video. So, <laughs> I need more copies of Turles. I think I need one more. Yeah, I'd, I'd love Turles. We're having a Turles celebration on Legends at the moment. So check out the video for that linked in the description down below as well. So yeah, Kefla is actually an excellent unit. Um, she has multiple transformations. She raises attack. Um, just a cool unit. Starts off as base Kefla. But yeah, she's just really, really good. 
turns into Super Saiyan Kefla. Just a very strong unit overall. And then into Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. And you can pretty much get all of these transformations within one event or if you're doing a specific event, it is very easy for her to transform. So um, yeah, she's an excellent unit. And hopefully the next one to come on Globo as well as she comes with Whis, uh, I mean Vados, sorry, Vados. Vados is probably the best support character in the entire game because what she does, if you're on Universe 6, Realm of God, Sibling Bonds and Master of Bonds and Disciple, if you're on all four of those categories, you're getting two, four, six, eighty percent 80% attack and defense, right? Because she gives, a, she will stack how much she gives depending on how many of the categories you fall into. So excellent support unit, excellent. So um, it makes sense as well because we've got Beerus and um, Whis, so Vados and Kefla, it, it makes sense, it makes sense. So then straight after that, we're gonna move in. We've already got all these easy A's, Ultra, uh, Ultra Instinct Goku's already in the game for us. Um, we are going to be looking into these Extreme Z Awakenings and stuff pretty soon. But then this is where JP's currently at. Now, I'm going to give you guys a timeline of when I expect this stuff to come. And it makes sense because of what's going to be coming very soon. So, uh, this is where JP is currently at at the moment. These are the banners that are live on JP at the moment. So, we're not too far behind. So, I'm expecting... I'm expecting, so these are just my opinions. I'm expecting this to be the banner that's going to be on uh, August 10th, right? And then straight after that, I'm expecting we're moving into the 350 million download celebration. Most likely a Vegito slash um, Margin Boot Ultimate Gohan sort of um, theme. That's what I'm expecting because of what they're doing. And then straight after that, download celebration, I'm expecting these two to release. So uh, these guys, I'm expecting them to release after a month, uh, probably in early September. So I'm thinking August is going to be um, Kefla and 250 million download. And then early September, I'm expecting these guys. And then towards the end of September, I'm expecting this stuff to come between November. November. So uh, this stuff the blue the blue super saiyans i'm expecting in early november so let me just quickly show you guys exactly what's going on here so it makes sense to you lot as to everything that i'm talking about so they, these are the two characters which are currently on jp at the moment which you can get and it makes sense because alongside with these were the tana Bata celebration so tana Bata celebration is basically the re-release of the fifth anniversary LRs and last time uh, this year last time exact same time in November we had the release of Goten and Trunks I mean uh, sorry Goten and Gohan the LR and LR Broly and then um, we had also the release of yeah that was all in uh, November before December so it makes sense because um, that was a Dokkan Festival LR this is a Dokkan Festival LR and then straight after this we have the um uh, we have jiren and everything so um that's what i'm expecting because it makes sense so as you guys can see that's currently what they have at the moment on jp dokkan battle so all of that stuff is upcoming very soon so all of this stuff will be released very soon so 350 million download celebration this was the last one 300 million uh, 300 million download celebration we're gonna get loads of tickets for each summon that you guys have done up until this celebration that counts for an entire year of your summons between the last celebration and this celebration so every summon you've done there will usually be a ticket banner with all of the um, characters featured every SSR every Dokkan festival unit which has released until then uh, depending on global so there's loads of stuff still to come so let's just have a quick little look at the actual uh, the LR itself this is an excellent LR desperate struggle join forces very good but I'm not too interested in the LR it's just too there's nothing specific or special that I see in this character uh, there's nothing that stands out there's nothing that kind of makes me believe that they're excellent or really good I just I just think they're kind of a throwaway sort of LR because they could have just made a standalone version of the blue Vegeta, 
uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta and I would have been happy with that. Uh, it, it didn't make sense to me as to why they made this an LR and what, after, what came after that. Uh, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of this character itself. But um, yeah, expect this to come in November. And then, um, yeah, th I, I expect this to come in November. I expect Kefla to be the next banner. And then I expect the Margin Boost stuff, these two Dokkan festivals to come early September. So those are my predictions. So if you guys enjoyed today's Dokkan Battle video, make sure you leave me a like. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Check out some more of my Dokkan Battle content. But yeah, this is a roundup of the timeline and what we're expecting next. So Kefla, Kefla is what I'm expecting next. And then the 350 million download celebration all within August. That is what I'm expecting. That's my prediction. Let me guys know what you think is going to be coming next on Dokkan in the comment section down below. Check out that merch um, and catch me on the next Dokkan Battle video. Have a good one. Peace out.